I'm meteorologist John Patrick tracking rain, most of which is over on the east coast this morning, but there are some light rain showers, even a few small heavier rain showers in portions of southwest Florida. This is Precision Viper right now showing you the reds and the oranges over on I-95 and Florida's Turnpike. So if you have business across Alligator Alley this morning, it is going to be very wet. But the good news, at least though, if there is any good news in getting drenching rains, is there are no lightning strikes. Lightning tracker is at zero. Here in southwest Florida, again, just a few spotty showers in urban areas. Two little showers just pulled offshore of uh, Marco Island and Naples. Those were over the East Trail a little while ago. There's a little Sprinkle now racing out of Golden Gate towards the west, also towards the Gulf of Mexico. A few little showers, little heavier rain showers making their way towards southeastern sections of Lehigh Acres, towards Columbus Boulevard, State Road 82, and then another one south of 82 between there and 29 in the northwestern sections of Immokalee. Again, moving off towards the west, and then the steadiest rain, albeit light, is from Moorhaven and Clewiston all the way through eastern and southern Hendry County and then interior sections of Collier County. There's Miles City from about there all the way through the rest of Collier County into Broward County. You are going to see some steady rain this morning. And this is our future scan product, which actually tracks this rain and notice how it's pushing it off towards the northwest. The best rain chances today deeper inland over by Lake Okeechobee and a few scattered showers in urban southwest Florida. Let's check out this tropical depression 16 right now on the other weather computer. We'll fly down in and show you that out of all all this cloud cover, the actual tropical depression is right in there. It's actually just coming off of Cuba into the Florida Straits this morning, and it is a tropical depression with 35 mile an hour winds. It's moving to the north northeast at 14 miles an hour, about 200 miles away from us. It crosses southeast Florida, makes a landfall either in the upper keys or somewhere in southwestern Miami Dade County, and then exits into the Atlantic, makes another landfall somewhere near the Carolinas and then loses its tropical characteristics, but a lot of rain for the east coast of Florida all the way up the eastern seaboard. Meanwhile, here in southwest Florida, we're just kind of on the fringes of that in urban areas. Some inland rain this morning, a little drizzle for the rest of us here at 7 o'clock. 76 degrees, a cloudy sky, a few more rain showers at noon and then 84. But this afternoon, by around 4 o'clock or so, we'll start to see a little sunshine. We'll call it partly cloudy. And the rain will be leaving 87, your 4 p.m. temperature. And that's your precision forecast. We'll go ahead and go town by town, show you how the weather's going to play out with precision cast when I see you again in a few minutes. Your time, 6.03.